This teapot is so much bigger on the inside. I can't believe it. Thank you for inviting me. It's always nice to broaden one's horizons. I find it quite splendid. In my line of work, I'm lucky if I get to spend a couple months out of the whole year in such comfortable surroundings. I can certainly think of several examples that fit that description. There was the time we had to dive into icy water during the dead of winter to intercept some smuggling ships. Or when we carried out a search for several days straight with no sleep to apprehend a fugitive. Luckily, the thick soles on our shoes make them extremely durable. Then, of course, there was also the time during the summer when we had to hide ourselves in some bushes along a river while we waited to ambush a suspect. There were a lot of poisonous insects around the river at that time of year, with bites that can be quite deadly. But most insect repellents have a pungent odor that, if used, would have exposed our position. So, all I could do was advise the members of my platoon to keep their skin covered and remain in position until the suspect emerged and began to trade the stolen goods for Mora. In the end, we managed to apprehend the suspect and the goods. But a few members of my platoon passed out from heatstroke and were indisposed for quite some time. Uncomfortable is part of the job, but we're used to it. After all, ensuring peace for the citizens of Fontaine is no small matter. But... <sighs> the number of guards that have been injured in the line of duty has been increasing lately. I should submit a request to the Maison Guardianage to increase compensation for injured guards. <laughs> That's a given. I am the captain, after all. But... <sighs> The number of guards that have been injured in the line of duty has been increasing lately. Okay, due to confidentiality restrictions, I can't share any specific case details with you. But I can tell you a story about the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. Some time ago, we lost one of the members of our platoon. He sacrificed himself while carrying out an important mission. We arranged a funeral service for him and turned his effects over to his family. The only thing we held on to was the cap from his uniform. It's a tradition. If his son decided to join the guards in the future, we would pass the cap down to him. One day, after everything was settled, I saw a group of people gathered outside. I rushed over, thinking there was someone causing a disturbance. It was. The boy grabbed one of my guards by the sleeve and asked, Have you seen my daddy? He couldn't describe his father's appearance beyond the fact that he was big and tall. The boy just kept repeating his father's name over and over again, but there was little we could say in return. We all knew that his father had long been part of covert operations for the Special Patrol, and hadn't been able to return home after the birth of his son. But there was something we didn't know. In order to protect his cover, he hadn't left behind a single picture of himself, even for his family. The boy had learned from his mother that his father was an honored guard of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. but. I would imagine the word honor meant very little to him, and that it was even harder to comprehend that his father was never coming back. In the end, we escorted the boy home, and each member of my platoon left him with a gift. Some gave him a pocket watch, a pen, or a badge. I gave him a copy of my favorite novel. I hope that he can be like the hero in that novel one day, and have the resolve to follow his own path whether he makes the choice to don his father's cap or follow a path that leads him away from the guards. My only wish is that he feels proud of his father all the same. It's rare that I get the chance to relax like this. Also, I've been meaning to ask whether you would be willing to assist me with some missions. With your help, I imagine the perpetrators will practically catch themselves. There's certainly a chance we may need to resort to violence, but the readiness of your answer seems to suggest that you're quite used to that sort of thing. Uh, don't worry, that wasn't an accusation. Sometimes it's the only language people will understand. If anybody, I know that best of all. So, do we have an agreement? For missions that require infiltration and surveillance, I was thinking that this teapot might make good cover. But now I see that entering and exiting are rather complicated. So how about this? I bring the teapot on the mission with you inside as backup. 
When you hear me tap on the side of the teapot, you jump out, and we take down the perpetrators together. Captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Teapot Troll does have a certain ring to it. Huh. It's decided, then. Ah, I see. I suppose I'll have to train you to be a proper guard, then. If you can handle it, that is. I think you'll find me to be quite generous, especially when it comes to my friends. Also, in case it sweetens the deal, if the food at the victory feast isn't to your taste, I'd be happy to share some of my more criminally delicious snacks with you. So, do we have an agreement? Get some rest, Traveler. I'm going to make a few more rounds on patrol to walk off some recent transgressions of the food variety. Good morning. I just finished patrolling the area and can confirm the perimeter is secure. But it appears there isn't any exercise equipment here. I suppose I'll have to suspend my morning strength training for today. You know, I've sent quite a few people to the Fortress of Meripede. Since it's a place of second chances, I hope they make the most of it and take the opportunity to redeem themselves. Most important of all, I hope they learn right from wrong and turn away from crime in the future. This makes me feel like I'm back in the dorms at the Special Patrol Headquarters. All that's missing is the clothes hanging on the backs of the chairs, the half-empty coffee cups, and of course, all my teammates looking ready to pass out after an intense day.一盏茶壶中居然有这么大的空间，真是难以置信。感谢你的邀请，我算是开眼界了。好，鉴于保密原则，我不能向你分享什么具体的案件详情，但我可以给你讲一件和特巡队有关的故事。当时，我们特巡
吧，该总攻击了。束手就擒，审判，放下武器，我来保护大家。制裁，别想跑。神之以法，最后通牒，审判。哦。